What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be upgrading the RAM for my new iMac. So I got the one with the i7 processor and the Radeon Pro 580 which has 8 gigs of um, video RAM. I got this with 8 gigs of RAM from Apple but I bought some um, extra RAM just because um, the RAM from Apple is very very expensive. So um, since that one comes with 8 gigs I got another 16 and that's going to bring me to 24 gigs of RAM. Once we get the RAM installed, I'm going to run a couple of benchmark tests just so we can check out and see what scores um, we get. So let's get um, this unplugged and install the RAM. So first of all, place the computer flat on a table or something like that. And it would be ideal if you'd have something to put underneath the screen so it doesn't get scratched. Next, if you look just above the power plug connector, you're going to see something that looks like a little button. So look for something small enough that you could actually push that in and you're gonna notice that that um, little door um, just above that will pop up. Once that's done you're gonna pull up those um, white rubber uh, flaps and uh, lift them up. So very very easy. Next you're gonna get your uh, extra RAM and basically you're gonna install it the exact same way as you see the other one uh, installed. You're gonna have to put a bit of pressure on each one just so it can get in um, all the way but not that much pressure and you're gonna feel when it actually slides in that um, slot. Once that's done just push those uh, rubber flaps uh, back in the way uh, they were when you opened it and just put that um, little cap back on and that's it, it's all done. Once that's done you can put the computer back where it belongs, plug it back in and uh, then turn it on. As soon as the computer is back on, you can go to about and there you can check and see if the RAM was properly installed. So now it uh, will show 24 gigs of RAM in my case, but if you installed more, of course, it would um, show how much you installed. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and run a couple of benchmark tests and then I'll come back and show you the results. For the first benchmark test, I ran Cinebench and you can see the scores um, for yourself and based on the ranking, uh, the scores are quite high. Now, I don't have another machine with similar specs, therefore I cannot really compare um, this with another one, but I'm sure that if you look online for something similar, you can um, see the difference in uh, scores. For our second benchmark test, I had the Geekbench 4 going and as you can probably see for yourself, the scores are quite high. And this is in fact the highest score that I've ever seen um, for any device for the multi-core score. So definitely good scores on the Geekbench 4. So this 27 inch iMac that you're uh, seeing behind me got to replace my last year's 27 inch um, iMac. However, that one um, had the i5 processor, so a big difference in uh, processing power between this one and uh, the one that I had last year. Now I noticed that 4K files uh, are rendered much faster on this one, but what I don't like about this one is the fan. The fan on this one starts going crazy whenever you're um, doing those uh, 4K files. So the more stuff you throw at it, that fan um, goes crazy. And that's something that I haven't uh, heard uh, with last year's iMac. Like I never heard the fan on the other one and this one as soon as you start doing something the fan just goes crazy. So that is the downside to having the new iMac. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, uh, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.